Hello YouTube, Sam here from youtube.com slash onlivegamer for the new Boston and in this tutorial we're going to be continuing working on the game. So whenever the timer uh, ticks that is used to delay the attack what we want to do is call enemy attack. Now we haven't created this sub yet so let's go ahead and come down here we'll type private sub enemy attack. So whenever they attack what we want to do is type current enemy dot attack so you may be wondering if you already typed this code in um, why this hasn't shown up well the reason is because I went into each one of these classes and changed the attack names or the names of the subs to just attack instead of say zombie attack or um, villain attack so go ahead um, ignore the overloads that I have there. Um, let's see. So change each one of those to attack and then come back into form1.vb. So current enemy.attack and then after we do that, what we want to do is update the progress bar. So progress bar pop by dot value is going to be equal to hero dot health. Now you can see that we're getting an error right here. That is because we need to reference uh, user health as integer. So we'll just type hero dot health so that we can access the property health. Now what we need to do is enclose this in a try block. So we will try to set the value to the current health of Popeye and if it's below zero it will throw an error and we'll be ready to catch that error. So if that happens, what we want to do is type message box dot show Popeye has lost. And then we will type hero dot health equals one hundred. So it pretty much respawns him. And then we need to set progress bar Popeye dot value equals hero dot health. So we'll update the progress bar. And then after all this has done, what we need to do is stop the timer. So timer delay dot stop. And then the timer will be started back up again when they click attack. Now in order for us to use this attack method right here, um, it may be different for each one of the enemies and it will be different. So we've got a default attack um, inside of enemy. Um, it says attack. It used to be default attack, but I changed it to attack. So if we just just leave this the way it is, it's going to always call the attack that's used in enemy because we declared current enemy of type enemy. So what we need to do is come into our enemy.vb class and we need to come into public sub attack and we need to make it overridable. So now we can override the attack sub um, in each one of our classes that inherits from enemy. So we'll open up dragon and we need to type overrides. So this attack overrides the one in enemy. And we'll do that for each one of these so that it uses the appropriate um, attack sub each time we call it whenever the villain attacks. So public overrides. And let's come down here and see what our error is. Uh -huh. So we'll just make that user health minus equals 8. So we'll minimize out of this. Let's go ahead and in come into form 1. And we will run this and hopefully everything will work fine. So we can go ahead and attack. It takes away some health. And then a second later he attacks us. We can attack again. Takes away some health. And then he attacks us. We can use spinach and then he attacks us again. And then each time, um, it will attack. So we're going to attack one more time. He'll attack back. And then the last time, it says Popeye has won, and it spawns a new enemy. Now, Popeye barely has any health left. So if we attack the enemy, the enemy attacks us. You can see that Popeye dies. And we have created an infinite loop. So what we need to do is find out where this is. So...
we'll just copy this right here and we'll stop the timer before this is done okay so now let's go ahead let's make Popeye lose on the first try so we'll come into the zombie and whenever he eats brains Popeye will lose 50 so we'll open this up and let's spawn an enemy until we get a zombie so here's our zombie we will attack the zombie and then the atomi uh, the atomi the zombie will attack back we can attack again and let's wait until it gets the eat brain so you can see that a whole bunch goes away there we can attack again and you can see that Popeye loses and Popeye responds so in order to make this look a little bit better let's come back into form1.vb and whenever he attacks let's go ahead and update this to zero so before it shows the message box we will type progress bar Popeye dot value equals zero so that the user will see the value and know that he is dead so then we'll come over here to button attack and we'll do that for this too so if it's below zero then progress bar enemy dot value equals zero so that they know that the enemy has died so let's go ahead and run this and let's spawn another enemy so we got a villain we can spawn a zombie let's fight a dragon so we can click attack and then a second later it attack is it attacks back um, and then we can keep fighting this dragon and then hopefully we will win and you can see that it says Popeye has won and it spawns a new enemy so go ahead put this code in if you haven't um, it'll help you learn a lot faster if you're actually putting the code in and editing it yourself and then once you've done that go ahead and move on to the next tutorial